Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. So uh, at the end of the last one, I was about to enter the monastery, and I'd said that, you know, perhaps, you know, I'm ah, I'm not going to tell Radzik what's going on. I'll just go into the monastery and kill him. Uh, pious, that is, because that's what we're doing. We're trying to figure out where, there, where there's a new gathering of uh, rebellious people. And uh, essentially, I, I've been told that I can... Uh, join their band to get more information, but first I have to do a solid for them, which means I have to kill somebody in the monastery. In order to do that, I have to enroll as a as a monk. <laughs> so, yeah, I decided, you know, I thought about it as well. Others said, you know, you should probably talk to Radzik. I agree, so here we are. Greetings. What do you need? Uh, well, um, about the investigation of the Neuhof massacre. So, this investigation into the Neuhof massacre, it's getting a bit complicated. What have you found out? I tracked down a gang of robbers who recruited killers for Pribislavitz. They know the Horsons who torched Neuhof. That's excellent news. Did you find out any more? So far, not much. If I'm going to infiltrate them, I have to do what they say. That means murdering one of their former cronies, a fellow they call Pius. Apparently he was at Neuhof too. You have to kill a criminal to prove yourself to them? Huh. I don't much like the sound of it. That's not the worst of it. This pious is hiding out in the monastery pretending to be a novice. I'd have to get inside the cloisters to get at him. <laughs> Good God above, that's another matter entirely. They don't let just anyone into the cloisters, and the abbot won't give up any of the novices. Secular law has no jurisdiction inside the monastery. But this is the second time that something untoward has happened there. First the counterfeiters, now this. I'd be glad to have someone take a look inside. Oh! <laughs> uh, well, I have no other choice in the join, or what is to be done with Pius once I fall? Well, let's, let's do this. It seems like the only way to find Pius is to join the Order. Damned if I know how, though. A bit of meditation and learning would do you good. <laughs> if it's really the only way to get to him, then you'll have to do it. I'm sorry I can't be of much help. Sadly, my relations with the monastery aren't entirely congenial. Oh You'll have boy. to figure something out for yourself. What should I do with Pius once I find him? Don't kill him. Bring him to the bailiff in Rate. He'll interrogate the man and give him a fair trial. It doesn't sound like an easy task, sir. Getting into the cloisters, finding Pius and then getting him to the bailiff. Far from it, lad. But I have confidence in your abilities. Take care. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad I actually went to talk to Radzik. So yeah, those who suggested it, and also, I mean, I have to be honest with you. I kind of sec. I I I had second thoughts about uh, my course of action as well. But uh, you know, um, yeah, I'm glad that we did because he, I think he's right. Uh, by the way, did you like my outfit? <laughs> I'm all spiffed up. Oh, except for the dirty legs. But that's just because I didn't want to put on all my armor and I had to go to talk to Radzig. So, yeah, what we're going to do is we are going to... Let's head back to the uh, monastery. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Right. The other thing is, somebody asked me about Mutt, and that is a really good question. Um, I think it would be best if Mutt hung out at the farm for a bit. So, or the mill. So I think what we'll do, let's go down to the mill and let's put Mutt away. And I don't mean, oh, hey, that was Hans. Hey, hi, hi, Hans. Don't mind me just riding through. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh. There we go. Let's just, you know what? Hey, let's have a, let's, oh, oh, excuse hey. Lad, <laughs> don't you want a little wager on the rat aid tawny? Uh, no. Let's, let's, hey, let's say hi to Teresa. I've got something for you. Oh, what have you got for me? I know this is your favorite. <gasps> Save your snaps. Thank you. Um, can you repair? Yeah, I was wondering if, if there was a dialogue option for me to say, hey, can you take care of Mutt for a few days? But you know what? That's fine. There we go. All right. See, she's look at that. She's wearing the nice outfit that I got her. All right. You know what? Mutt. Hey, Mutt. Mutt. Um. Uh, go back to the mill. Back to the mill. You're already here. Home. Oh. 
it always breaks my heart because he's so sad. He's like, why don't you want me anymore? No, it's not that. I have to go into a monastery for a little while. It's fine, Mutt. Everything's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let us let us proceed. We'll go to uh, we'll go to. You know what? We're gonna go here, but we're gonna stay at overnight. We're gonna go to the monastery in the morning. I don't think there's a time limit on. Oh. Oh, maybe I don't want to. Oh, I just realized the inn. That's where the the dude that I stole the writ from is at the inn. Uh oh. <laughs> that may not be a good idea. <laughs> oh no! I just realized that I probably shouldn't do that. Um, what am I gonna do? Hmm. It is nighttime. I mean, what we could literally, yeah. what I could do is just simply wait till morning. I'm, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. So let's just, let's just park. We'll park uh, pebbles at the door here. There we go. Ah, let's see. Is that is that appropriate? Oh yeah, perfect. That's it. Good job, Pebbles. And then I think what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna come up here, and we could. Was oh, that Johanka? Hi, Johanka. Uh, but what's my food situation? Nourishment eighty one. Oh, it's actually quite good. Oh, well, yeah. Johanka is gonna close the door on me, but I I can go in this way. Oh, look at that. Everybody's still here. Okay. Uh, and then I think what I'll do is I'll just wait. I'm gonna wait till morning, and uh, and then we'll 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 come in in the morning. I'm sure nobody's gonna be too upset with me over that. So let's just wait till something like uh, 9 a.m. By then everybody should be uh, in, you know, ready to go for the day, and that gives me the full day. So, anyways, um, yeah, you know. Radzig would like me to arrest him and take him to Ratai. Now, what that means is, see, I'm doing this for on behalf of Radzig. And I, you know, like my thing is like, oh, well, it's super important that we find out about, you know, what's going on with uh, the recruits, with recruitment and all that other stuff. And Radzig's like, well, yeah, but I, we, you know, you should really arrest him and bring him to Ratai. So that's where his priorities lie. And, you know, I'm inclined to just simply go with that. Now, let's see if we can find ourselves a nice, fresh bucket to clean ourselves in. We don't want to be untidy. And then, where's Porter? Oh, he's up there. Is he still... He's... Oh. Uh. Oh, there's Brother Reporter. Okay, I'm gonna... What I have to do is... Uh, I need to take all my clothes. I'm going to basically, uh, unequip everything. I'm going straight. I'm going naked in the middle of the monastery grounds. What do you think? Is that going to get me into trouble? I don't think it will. I think it's just perfectly fine. There we go. All right. Let's, oh my goodness. Look at how many people there are. Oh, right. He said to go and let's take a look actually at the quest. Uh, and see what it has to say. Uh, enter the monastery. Go uh, with the writ to the porter. Uh, I have everything I need to enter the monastery. He said something about depositing my worldly goods. He over here? Is it in here? Nope, that's private area. No, not here. No. He said about something about a gatehouse. Something in the gatehouse. There was like a chest or something. Uh, no, it's not the one with the barrel in front of it. Interesting. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, this is the gatehouse here, isn't it? And this seems like the... the okay. Oh, wait a minute. What's this over here? Oh, that's a lockpick very hard. I'm really not sure. Well, you know what? I've got everything, all my worldly goods put away. Uh, I'm back and I'm ready. I'm back and I'm ready now. I I'm just going to say yes. I am. 
then you must rid yourself of all your worldly possessions. Sell them or give them to the poor and needy or donate them to the monastery. You may not enter this place burdened by worldly goods. Inside the gatehouse is a trunk in which you will find monks' robes. Put away all your possessions and dress yourself in the habit. Then you may rest a while, while I go and see the prior to arrange matters for your acceptance. Good luck to you. All right, there we go. So the gatehouse. So is... Oh, okay. So this is... Now I'm allowed to be in here. It's because it wasn't quite ready yet. All right. Strange uh, feeling being without all of that. I didn't realize how much I'd grown used to it. Oh, oh. Everything's prepared. It's time for you to take your vows. Do I really have to wear this? You'd better get used to it. You'll be wearing it for the rest of your life. Brothers in Christ, we have gathered here today to welcome a new novice into our midst. Dear brother, forget your former life and embrace your new vocation in the community of the monks of St. Benedict. Opus Dei, obedientia, obprobria, the service of God, obedience, and endurance of all discomfort. These are the cornerstones and succor of our order, which on this day shall become your own. Suscipe me, Domine, secundum eloquium tuum et vivam. Et non confundas me ab expectatione mea. And suski pe me domine secundum. In loquium tuum vivam, et, et non confundas me ab expectatione me. Oh. Accept your new name, oh, brother God. Gregor. And wear it with honor. Welcome, brother. <laughs> Did you see the pain? The pain in his face? <laughs> so Henry is now Brother Gregor. Oh my. And I'm assuming the other fellows in the white, in, in all Welcome, in white. Brother. Oh, oh. I am Antonius, a novice like you. Is a novice, yeah. I've been instructed to guide you around the monastery and tell you what you can expect. And what your duties will be. Um, yes, thank you for prompting me. Thanks for helping me out during the ceremony. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. You don't know Latin, do you? Don't worry. 
Work in the scriptorium will teach you fast enough. Why exactly are you here? Was it your choice? Or did someone force you to come? Um... <laughs> How about... You know what? I haven't quite got my bearings yet. Could we talk about it later? Very well. I'll leave you alone for now. But don't fret. You'll find your feet soon enough. I, th I, I think that that's a good answer, actually. And I'm just going to go with that. Um, you know what? Would you tell me something about yourself? I'm a novice, and I'm here because I'd make a poor merchant. Okay. I like books, and I want an education. Although, I must say, so far the monastic life's been quite unexpected. Um, okay. Uh, let's let's go. go, then. Yep. Good. But before we do, here's a letter directly from the prior telling you all your regular duties from tomorrow onwards. Make sure to read it this evening so you know how things work. Right, we can go now. Follow okay. me closely. I'll explain everything as we go. All right, cool. Remember so one word, discipline. It's your job to work and pray. You serve the Lord now, not your own bodily needs. You must follow, okay. How about, uh... Salve Domine. Oops. Okay, I, 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 I think I got it, but it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the way to the dormitory, where we all sleep. Okay. You'll find a free bed there, which is now yours. Do you know the first thing the monastery taught me? To appreciate sleep. We rise before dawn every day. Takes a bit of getting used to. Oh, this is cool. This is the garden. A place for silent contemplation and meditation. Centuries ago, this monastery was founded by the most esteemed of brothers, St. Procopius. His earthly remains can be found in a cave under the monastery, and his spirit wanders the corridors at night, punishing any misbehaving novices. <laughs> so beware. <laughs> Here are the fratery and scriptorium, together with the library. These are the places where we work. Ora et labora. Pray and work. As a novice, you must always listen to your superior brethren. And above us monks are the prior and the circators, who punish every infraction. You'll know them by the canes they carry. Do what they say. This is the refectory, where we come together to eat. During meals, you must be silent. Only one brother reads aloud from the rule of St. Benedict. The rule is the only law we recognize, with the exception of those from God himself. If you break any of its precepts, punishment. But I've already told you about the circuitors. Okay, circuitors, all right. Oh, oh, I know the this library, room. The pride of our monastery, a trove of learning. We don't just read books here. We also copy them. You, too, will learn how. And that's all. Today you are still free from duty. But tomorrow you begin work like the others. If you need anything, ask any of the brothers. We'll be glad to help you. And I recommend you get to know the other novices. You already know me. Then there is Siskin, Yodok, and Lucas. Thanks for showing me around. There's a lot to learn here. Um, no, we he could be pious. Uh, we've already already asked him to tell him about our, himself. Um, I have a few I'd questions. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Who's in charge here? Who's in charge of things around here? The prior. Truthfully, everyone except us. Okay. But officially, Abbot Peter. Abbot Peter. And okay. Soon enough, someone else. As if it mattered. Our life will still be work and prayer. I see. Um, are there rifts? Be no, that's no, not yet. I don't think that's a good time to ask that. Um, tell me something about life here. Tell me something about life here. Work, prayer, work, prayer. As if you didn't know. We serve God, and that's the central truth of our lives. Um, and who's responsible for what? What are the roles of the various monks here? 
Someone takes care of the library, someone else the garden. The abbot supervises everyone, and in his absence, the prior. Okay, but the it's prior. it's the circators you should worry about. Okay. They're the brothers who'll make sure we observe the rule. They can be quite strict, so if you want to avoid getting punished, always act righteously and do your duties honestly. All right. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's good. So we've been in this room before. In uh, there's a that big that big uh, at the end of the hallway there. Yeah, that's the secret books. <laughs> we've we've actually uh, we've we've snaffled through this place in the middle of the night. So I am familiar with it. <laughs> All right. So let's see if we can figure out what we're supposed to do. The only thing is, I came at this room, I believe, from the other side, and that's where some of the living quarters are for what I assume are the like the higher ups, like the prior and the abbot. Oh, and uh, let's take a look at let's take a look at where we're what we're supposed to be at right now. Needle in a haste, needle in a haystack. So it looks like the main quest is a needle in the haystack, and then the side quests in the cloister. Okay. So, uh, and we already know some of this, but let's just go through it so that we understand where we are and what we're doing. A fellow is hiding in the Sasau monastery, who I'm supposed to find and kill. All I know about him is that he's one of the novices. I have to find one of the perpetrators of the Neuhof massacre, Pius, among the monastery novices. But how will I know which one he is? I doubt he'll tell me himself, and I wouldn't want to kill an innocent man. I'll just have to try and blend in here and look for clues that might lead me to him. For now, I don't know which one of the novices he is, but once I find out, he should die, or I could bring him to justice. I'm kind of leaning towards following um, Radzig's recommendation about bringing him to justice, but I think we'll let's just see how things play out. I talked to Radzik about my mission to track down Pius and kill him, but Sir Radzik would rather... There you go. I'd handed him over to justice instead. He wants me to take him to the bailiff, which I'm... You know what? I, I like that. So find out who... Uh, find out which of the uh, novices is Pius, and then presumably kill Pius or bring him to Radzig. Uh, in the cloister is the side quest, which is... Oh, here we go. So my name is Brother Gregor. I am a monk in the Sassau Monastery. Uh, what would Pa have said about that? <laughs> he'd be like, good, make something of yourself. No, I'm kidding. Uh, most likely he'd piss himself laughing. God rest his soul. Anyway, in order not to draw attention to myself, I must dress like a monk, speak like a monk, and behave like a monk. I entered the monastery and was amazed to find how different, complicated, and nonsensical everything seemed here. Novice Antonius offered to show me the robes, which I was glad to accept. And, it, and then uh, it has been a long day and morning prayers, prayers start up before dawn, so I'd better get some sleep. Uh, so get to know the uh, other uh, novices and go to bed. Okay. So I he was leading me around, but I was too busy trying to just follow him. And I wasn't exactly sure. What's it? Is it still daylight? Oh, it's still daylight. I wasn't exactly sure where. Okay, I need to f get familiar with. So this leads upstairs and into the library, right? Okay, and that down at the bottom of that is... Oh, let's... Can, do we have a map? Oh. I don't know why... And my horse, by the way, is parked over here. I don't know why I didn't clue into the fact that this was an internal square. That's interesting. So I'm currently right here. Oh, there's an alchemy bench. Really? Oh, I know that too. I remember I, I, I found it when I was standing over here and my proximity thing set off that there was an alchemy bench, alchemy bench here, but I didn't go inside. Okay, so we're at the... Ah, this makes sense because the way that I'd gotten into that library before is I went in this way through here, and there's like some living quarters, and I came through here, more living quarters, and then into the library here. And then if you continue on and then down, this down here is the uh, the dining room, which is like right there. Okay, so that makes sense, right? Okay, so, and then if I turn right, then that goes into this square, 
What's this over here though? Is that, that must be the sleeping quarters. That makes sense too. Okay. Let's see. I'm just going to try and get used to the, uh, my surroundings here. Okay. So that's the square, right? And then south is, oh, what? Oh, books. Okay. And then this is the dedicated entrance into here. Okay. Worse than last time. I tell you, something is going to happen out there. You might be wrong. And besides, God will be our protector. Okay. I just thought I'd eavesdrop for a minute. Uh, who's that? That's a monk. <laughs> okay, so there's like a big square. Okay, okay, okay. Does this literally just go all the way around? All right, it does. And then here's the stairs up to the library. Here's the the food. Get worse. Oh. I can feel it in my joints. The things you say. My joints started aching just before they raised skulls, and now they hurt again. But worse than last time, I tell you, something is going to happen out there. You might be wrong. And besides, God will be our protector. So it's the same conversation that was happening over there. So they're just, in general, everybody in here is concerned. They seem to feel like there's something going on outside. All right. So let's just re... Uh, okay. And then... Right. So if I wanted to go in and uh, get anything from... Oh, is this open? Lockpick easy. If I wanted to go and get anything from Pebbles, I just would come over here. Oh, that's a lockpick? Oh. Pebbles is... Oh. I have to lockpick to get out to see Pebbles. Uh, hi. <laughs> Don't mind me. Not doing anything sneaky at all. Look at them. They're just constantly... Oh, who's this? Oh, that's novice Lucas. I'm Gregor, a novice. I saw you at the ceremony. I know. It was hard not to notice you. And uh, you are... Lucas, also a novice. Don't get upset, but I don't want to talk to you. I'm happiest alone. Um... What? <laughs> Okay, well, I'm just going to leave him be. Actually, no. Um... I'd like to know something about the other novices. I don't know much, but ask away. Antonius. Tell me about Antonius. I'd like to, but there's nothing to tell. I've never spoken to him. I've never asked about him. Okay, I think that's... You know what? I, th I think he's a dead end as far as that conversation is. I'm just going to leave him be because he kind of said, I don't really want to talk to you. <laughs> and I'd like to save my reputation with him as much as until maybe I need it. Uh, but anyways, I, as I say, we're, we're just going to see if we can figure out the lay of the land here. Get to know things. Now, what's through here? Oh, this is where we had the the, the big uh, ceremony. This is the chapel. Oh, we've been here from the outside. Take a look. Yes, we've been up here. I almost got killed on the roof of this building. That's right. Or I almost got killed by somebody launching something off the roof of this building. Pay indulge. I don't have any money. I would pay if I could. Who's this? Librarian. Okay. And then we've got... Uh, oh. It's very pretty. It's a nice building. This building actually exists, by the way. There's a, there is a Sasau. There is a Sasau monastery. And there is a Sa there, this building actually is a real building. Okay. And then where does this lead to? Oh, it's a lockpick. Okay, so that is... Oh, I'm pointed in that direction? Oh, oh, it's over there. Okay. And now they hurt again, but worse than last time. Okay, that's, we've heard that. I think... Oh, now what's this? Lockpick? Uh, this is to go out into the garden? Okay. 
good. And peace be with you, brother. I think he was talking to me through the wall. <laughs> All right, I think we've got a feel for this place. Now, what I'm curious about is Oh, this is the um that's right. This is the where they do all the the transcriptions and stuff like that. Oh. Uh take take all. I don't think it would be theft, would it? Can I read these? I don't know if I can read these. Um but we're just going to leave it. Um, Cuz I don't know if I need any of that stuff right now. I can't sell anything. There's like no black market in here, I don't think. Let's see what else we've got. You it's kind of cool. Look at that. It's got a little lamp thing, and he, somebody's actually writing a, a document. Oh, what's this? I don't know. Cobweb? Okay. Anthology of love poems. I've read that. <laughs> Evil. I think someone's spying on us. Nonsense. Why would anyone do that? And anyway, what would it matter if they did? Someone were afraid of us. At Matty's. They won't lift a finger right. against us. It's stunk like true. a wine barrel. They all there. know what we did. And it's not there. the first time. They've it's seen a mystery. what we did to Lucas. The one that will soon be solved. It's a wonder the prior doesn't check everyone's breath in the morning. Oh, it's nighttime. I think I have to go to bed. Let's hope things will settle down a bit around here now. You mean after the Talmberg attack on the brigand's secret camp? I wouldn't expect too much of it. No, why's that? There was only Something a handful really of bandits there. Matins. A handful? Right. There was dozens like of them. In there. And, and four it's not first too. Is that it's right? But one there was a great, sold. big battle. The them fuckers filled the hole of through the Slavics. The Tarnberg garrison had to get reinforcements to beat them. There's wounded lying at Tarnberg now, and plenty new graves in Ujits, but they cleared that wasp's nest good and proper. I did that! If you say so. But I still reckon we haven't seen the last of it. That Sigismund is still on the rampage, attacking the nobles one by one across the land, and brigands are like weeds, burn them down and they just sprout up somewhere else. That's not the half of it. What about the attack on Merhoyed? While the lords are dealing with one lot of marauders in previous Slavids, there's another bunch pillaging somewhere else. There'll be no peace as long as Sigismund goes on ransacking Bohemia. Sure as the sun circles the earth. You know how to lift a fellow's spirits. Okay, I better get to bed too. Because apparently uh, I'm, I am in... I, oh, I'm fine up here. Okay, so I'm okay. It's just if I go outside of this room, okay, out, out of schedule, then... Oh, that is that mine? I think it might be. It says sleep and sleep. Why are these guys sleeping on the floor and I get a bed? Hey, bro. Oh, and these guys are all sleeping on the floor. Okay, let's see if I can find my bed. Oh, I could sleep here. Sleep sleep okay and what's all this okay there's a all right i can write stuff i can there's a lock pick this is a i sleep here there's novice yodok so all the beds are my like i've what i found is if it's just sleep then that just means i can use it Sleep and save is an indication that it's actually a bed that I'm uh, is allocated to me, so I could sleep and. S oh. But I don't think am I? I don't think I'm supposed. To look at everybody else is sleeping on mats on the floor. Why would I have a bed? This doesn't make any sense, does it? Brother Nevlis, brother the librarian. Oh, I could sleep here too, apparently. Sleep. There's a monk. Okay. Well, I'm 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 a little bit confused. I don't exactly know where I'm supposed to sleep and not sleep because uh oh there's Siskin. Where's he going? <gasps> 
Where's Siskin going? My name's Gregor, a novice. You can call me Siskin. Now, are you here of your own free will, or is this a punishment? Although, it's not important. Welcome to purgatory. Did you say purgatory? You'll see soon enough. Soon enough. <laughs> Will you tell me something about yourself? Look, nothing against you, but I prefer not to talk about my past. Interesting. Are you hiding something? Why are you so reluctant to tell me anything about yourself? I'm hiding a lousy past that I'd rather forget. I hate to think of all I lost when they stuck me in here. And also because I really hate the question, Aren't you the son of the famed Sir Smil Flashka Pardubitz? I was rich and I had everything. But then my father began to feel his time approaching, so he decided to send a son to the monastery. And, being the youngest, the lot fell on me. I've no head for managing the estate, and they said I'd squander it. Can you imagine? Me, in a monastery. So I took what coin I could from home with me, so I didn't lose out completely. Okay, so I don't think it's him. If he, if I, bu if I buy his stuff. Oh, objective completed. Search for pious. Worldly goods in the. Oh, that's weird. Why am I getting all these updates? Okay, um, worldly goods in monastery. Okay, <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. All right, um, you. They must have figured out that you robbed them. You needn't have come here if you didn't want to. But you didn't have to come here if you didn't want to. No, not if I didn't mind being left to beg alms by the city gate. I had one choice, the monastery or nothing. If it had come to that after my father's death, so be it. But to get rid of me while he's still alive? Um... They must have realized you robbed them. <laughs> I donated some of the silver to the monastery when I came in, just to piss them off. I can just see my brothers, I mean my siblings, arguing with the abbot to give it back. And you stashed away the remainder? Indeed so. What will you do next? What's your plan with this treasure? To get out of here as soon as I can. I'll wait another year or two until my hot-headed brothers cool off a bit, and then I'll take the silver and run off somewhere, far, far away from here. <laughs> I don't think it's him. This, he's, his, this backstory is a completely different... Uh, it doesn't feel right, right? Okay, so that's all. That's all I wanted to know. Please, keep it to yourself. Especially the part about the coin. Okay, I, 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 I'm a, it, it's a bit confusing. All right, um... How is it you get no... Oh, okay, there's a bunch of stuff here that I don't know anything about yet. So I'm just going to leave it at that for now. So that is Siskin, right? So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to sit here. Now, that we just had... Who do we know so far? There's Antonia, uh, Antonius, right? There's Lucas. I'm writing this down, by the way. And then there's Siskin. And I don't remember the name of the other fellow. Um, I don't think it's uh, Siskin. So I'm going to just, just sort of put a little X next to him saying I don't think it's him. But before we do that, I want to take a look at... Uh, oh, I've got a bunch of stuff here. Everyday labors. Let's read everyday labors. Oh, this is kind of hard to read, but we'll have to do it. Uh, brother novices, the following schedule describes the da your, your uh, the daily activities you shall attend to in your first years in our first years years in our monastery. Order and discipline are the cornerstone upon which the order of the of Saint Benedict is built. Any violations of the schedule thus marked shall be disciplined by the punishment of the solid of solitary confinement. When it is meditation that you seek, prayer and study can be substituted for food and sleep. When it is meditation that you seek, prayer and study can be substituted for food and sleep. Oh my goodness. Okay, I get I get there. Okay. At 3 a.m. is the start of the day. <laughs> 4 a.m. is morning prayer. So 
the uh, the ones with the exclamation marks are required. So morning par- prayer at 4 a.m. is absolutely qu- required. Then 6 a.m., the common meal is not. 8 a.m., work in the frattery. Frattery? What's a frattery? I don't know that word. Uh, assigned by Brother Nevelis. Okay, so that's at 8 a.m. Uh, 12, uh, work in the library assigned by the bro- Brother Librarian. So at 8, I have to go to Brother Nevelis. And, okay. At 12, I have to go to the librarian. I don't know what a uh, frattery is. And then at, at 4 p.m., afternoon worship is mandatory. 6 p.m., Vespers and Common Supper. 7 p.m., compl- uh, complain free time before retiring. So at 7 p.m., I have free time. Then at 9 p.m., rest and nighttime curfew. So you go to bed at 9 and you rise at 3. So that is, wow, that's a short, that's not a lot of sleep. Huh. Okay. Oh, is there a next? All right. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ be praised, Father Demetrius, De- Demetrius Pryor. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I think that sort of answers that. So let's uh, let us get up. And I guess we're going to sleep until 3 a.m. I'm just going to... We're going to be good boy for a little while here and just see if we can... Uh, maybe uh, we'll blend in and see what's going on. But I am curious about what my first day is going to be like. Comfort, 50%. Nourishment, 72 Energy and health is 100%. We're, we're in good shape. Maybe a bit hungry, but not too bad. Oh, um, nobody else is getting up. Hang on a minute. Didn't it say uh, 3 a.m. is the start of the day? And what time is it? Uh, hang on a sec. Isn't it like 3 a.m.? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay, maybe journal? There, in one of these, it actually gives the exact time. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Um, let's just wait. Till f- we'll just do this. We're going to wait uh, there, and then we're just going to go like that. That'll get us right into just after 3 a.m. The whole idea is just... Oh, well, the schedule's already completely broken. I've been lied to! My goodness. Oh, did I hear activity? Oh. Okay. Nope, neglecting. Still neglecting. <laughs> Uh, what the heck? What's going on here? Why? F- morning prayer is at 4 a.m. Okay. How about then we do this? We go, uh, let's, let's wait till, I just want, as I say, I just want to get a feel for what we're supposed to be doing here. And let's just wait till we get to just before 4 a.m. Uh, I am extremely confused by this situation. And if, if I still, if I go down the stairs, it says I'm trespassing. Wow, this is strange. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sort of stand here and wait and see what happens. I'll cut, I'll cut in uh, back when uh, something actually uh, occurs. Oh! Everybody's getting up. So it the, the schedule is a lie. The schedule is a lie. If we take a look, I did check, by the way. You can you can just mouse over the little symbol here, and it gives you the exact time. So everybody is, is just getting up at 357. So they all, they're all procrastinators. They only get up at the last possible minute before they have to go and do their morning prayers, even though it says 3 a.m., Oh, go to prayer. Okay. Oh, who's this? Oh, that's Lucas. 
This is a monk. Oh, and there's Antonius. All right. And Yodok. That's the other guy is Yodok. Okay. I'll have to write that down. Okay. Do, 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 do. Here, I'll just follow my uh, my friend Lucas here, who's not really my friend. He doesn't want to talk to me, but we're just going to follow him anyways and pretend we're friends. Do, 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 do. If I were to sing on my way into morning prayers, would that be an um, unusual occurrence? da da dun dun da dun 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 do 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 Hey, brother! I mean, brothers! <laughs> hey! Okay, let's see where uh, Lucas goes. We could start chit-chatting right now. Now, who's this? This is Yodok. Okay. Now he's goes. He goes over there. He goes over there. Oh. Okay, that's Nevelis. All right, so there are three novices here. One is missing. There's Antonius, Yodok, and is that that was Lucas? And Lucas. Okay. So let's see. Uh, Siskin does no prayers. All right, I'll be back. All right, so what we're doing is uh, it's just a bunch of people singing in a hall. So I'm going to skip till six. And so, wow, two hours of standing there just singing. Okay, 547. <laughs> Look at the sun starting to come up. But they're all here still. Now they've gone silent. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see. 551. I'm like that uh, naughty kid at the back of the class who's just sort of... Uh, you know, if I had a pencil, I could flick it up and see if I could stick it into the roof. <laughs> I'd, I'd make a terrible monk. I'm bored. I am bored. Oh, look, they're moving. <laughs> this is really terrible. This is like the most... The slowest, most boring day in a, in existence. Uh, oh, now, let's see. We've got Lucas. Okay. And then there's the two other guys over there. All right. All right. Eat with the others. Okay. Okay. Now, we haven't spoken to Yodok yet, so uh, we're going we're gonna to talk to Yodok. Hey. Hi. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm, they're too slow. Oh. oh, that's right. That's how you get... Uh... Hang on a minute. Oh. 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 Talk to me, brother. Oh, I will. I will. Um, how is it you get no penance for missing mass? How is it that you don't get any penance for missing morning prayers? I've paid off the circators to turn a blind eye. And the other monks don't notice as long as you show your face there from time to time. No one's too awake at that time of the morning. Oh. Um... 
Mm, he seems like the sneaky type. It occurred to me you might be the man to ask. I'm looking for some lockpicks. Do you know anyone in the monastery who could help me? Lockpicks, eh? I won't ask what for. My advice is to try Brother Solarius. Solarius. Okay, so Solarius for lockpicks. Oh my goodness, this is this is getting very complicated. <laughs> All right, so what else do we have here? Um, and trust with what do you think about the other novices? I'd be interested to hear what you think about the other novices. Uh, Antonius? Tell me about Antonius. Oh, if there was a monk I'd recommend as a friend, with, of course, the exception of myself, it would be Antonius. He has a calm soul, he's easy to talk to, and you can always rely on him. Okay, what about Lucas? What can you tell me about Lucas? Yeah. It's a tricky situation with Lucas. No one really knows anything about him. I've tried so many times to talk to him, but he always backs away like a virgin on a wedding night. All That's right. All. Thanks. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, so that's kind of interesting. So I'm really glad that I asked him about, uh, you know, I, well, I'm glad that I checked out who was missing from morning prayers. I could have asked him before. It's, I'm surprised they have all the dialogue options there, even before I know whether I should ask about certain things. And I'm trying not to, uh, you know. Oh, what's that? Hi. Okay. I think this is the food place here. what the prophet says. I said, I will guard my ways, that I may not sin with my tongue. I have set a guard to my mouth. I was mute and was humble and kept silence even from good Here the prophet Can I sit? Can I eat? How does this work? How do I get food? <laughs> Let's look around, shall we? Interesting. Okay, let's check this situation out. Death and life. All right, so we've got we've got monks. Oh, oh, there's a circator. Oh, he's one of the bad guys. Well, he's an enforcer. Siskin and Lucas. They all sit up here with the monks, and then you've got. Antonius and a random monk that sit over here. Horse, jests, and, idle and then you've got Yodic. These we condemn okay. everywhere with a perpetual bath. Now we're not supposed to talk in here, I don't think. Now is there anywhere I can this is where the used food uh utensils and stuff go? Therefore, when anyone a, a, do I not get hungry in here? Because hang on a minute. Let's see. Teaching. I can sit here, but he not here. That is good and holy. Not by here. His deeds even more not than here. By his words. Expounding the Lord's commandments in words to the intelligent among <gasps> his disciples. But demonstrating the divine precepts by his actions for those of oh, harder hearts go. and ruder minds. The abbot should always remember what he is and what he is called. And should know that to whom hey, brother more Mavlis. is committed. From him, more is required. Let him make hey, no Brother Solarius. <gasps> brother mind. Solarius! Let him not love one more than another, unless it be one whom he finds better in oh, good oh, works. Oh, I'm eating my slop. <laughs> and let him not shut his eyes to the faults of offenders, but since he has the authority, let him cut out those faults by the roots as soon okay, as they okay, okay, okay. appear. Remembering the fate of Heli. Oh, let's talk to Brother silence. Solarius. The well what do you desire, Brother Gregor? Uh, I'm looking for something a little um, unorthodox. And what would that be exactly? Uh, okay, we're taking it. We're gonna take a leap of faith. I'm looking for lock picks. Lock picks. And what would you like those for? Uh, I'd like to practice opening locks. I'd like to practice opening locks, just for the fun of it. Well, why not? <laughs> so you heard I used to be a burglar, did you? Oh, no, I didn't. I put it all behind me as soon as I took the vows. But I do have a few lockpicks left. 
I'll trade them for food. Get me a bite to eat, and you can have your lockpicks. Can't say fairer than that, can I? <laughs> I don't have any food, but apparently I've got a lockpick. And get me a bite to eat. Okay. Um... I don't have the, uh, okay, I don't, okay, I see, I see. This is a, he's a vendor. Oh, I get it. So what I would need to, if I look at the basket, is, okay, oh, wait, 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 no. If I go to buy and I go to lockpick, it's 16 coins. Oh, and then he'll, and basically what I do is I sell food to him. He gives me money and then I'll be able to buy a lockpick from him. All right, that's that's good to know. I just need to find some food. The first and second time. Well, there's food the right here, Brother Cellaris. <laughs> You're eating it. He should curb All right. The very beginning of the ill doing by stripes and Let's the just other get up. bodily punishments. I think we've, we've, we're good that there. Knowing that it is written, the fool is not corrected. With Brother Nevelis, is there death. any food? Lock pick easy. Let's go and see what we can find. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh! Brother. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Idle hands are the devil's workshop. Ah! Uh, apologize. I had other affairs that needed to be attended to immediately. It will never happen again. Really? I'll pretend nothing happened. But this is the last time, brother. I'm Gregor, and I'm new here. I know. I saw you in the church during ceremony. I have the feeling we'll be meeting again soon, and often. You see, I'm the circator. What does that mean? I make sure everyone observes the rule, does their work, and that everything's the way it should be. And um, when it's not the way it should be? Then we're authorized to met out punishment. But certainly you won't require correction, will you, brother? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, okay, how about... Well, let's see if we can ask him anything. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Um, okay, we know who's in charge here. We could ask him about how he views life here. Tell me something about life here. Prayer, work, obedience. That just about sums it up. Okay. Um, rule of... St. Benedict, uh, Monastery's History. What does each of the monks here do? Can you tell me about the novices? What can you tell me about the novices here? What can I say? You're here to demonstrate your devotion to God and to live a monastic life. After a year, you can make your vows and become a fully-fledged brother. I meant something specific about the brothers that are here. But you know them yourself. Yorick is an odd one, but he's diligent and eager. Perhaps too eager. Siskin is good company, but a bit too worldly for a monk. Antonius is hardworking and will help with anything, but prays less than he ought. Lucas is as quiet as a mouse, and no one knows much about him. And then we have you, about who I know nothing. Okay. <laughs> Can you leave? Let's just ask. Can you leave the monastery? Where would you go? You have everything you need here. Anyway, all the doors here are closed and locked tight so no one can get in or out. All right, I think we've asked enough from him. Uh, we can ask him more later if we have to. Okay, so just by going out into the hallway and coming back in at this time, apparently that was enough to raise suspicion. Wow. Okay, can I... And it was only that one that I could sit and eat. It looks like. Yeah, it's just this one. That's the one that was allocated to me. Interesting. Oh, now people are starting to leave. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we'll just um, we'll just sit and eat because <laughs> that's that's apparently what we're doing. <laughs> Do, 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 do. All right, I think this is a good place to stop. We've been going for a little while. I'm a little confused about what I'm doing, but at this point, I was just, I just really wanted to get my, uh, get a handle on this place and see if I could learn the layout, get an introduction to monastery life. But 
uh, it appears that there's um, you there are deals to be made, uh, as as per what Brother Celerus here had to say. And if I oh I guess like oh I can't even look in my inventory right now. Oh. Okay. But if I uh, what I could do is I could get up and let's take a look. Did did that actually do anything for my um nourishment? My nourishment is 100, so I'm actually good as far as food is concerned. But I can sit here. And if I sit here, can I actually uh, look in my... I can! Okay. And of course, I have my uh, everyday labors. Right. Uh, well, uh, it looks like from... it. Even though it says 6 a.m. is the common meal. Oh, Go to the fratery. A port, uh, report to uh, Brother Nevelis at the alchemy bench. Oh, cool. I like alchemy. I'm really good at it, too. All right. You know what? Uh, I think this is a good place to stop. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, this is a naturally a good good place to stop. So I'm going to keep an eye out for some food that I can trade with uh, with Brother uh, Celarius here and see if I can get myself a, a, some, some lockpicks. In the meantime, we have to still talk to a couple of people. For example, Yodak here. Greetings, brother. I'm Gregor, and I'm new here. Greetings to you, brother. I'm Yodak, the oldest of the novices. I hope you'll like it here in the monastery and that you won't get into trouble. Trouble? You're young, perhaps intemperate. Oh. You might easily stray from the rules of the order. Oh. I suggest you get to know the older monks. You never know when it might come in handy. Okay, that's, you know what? That's a hint. Get to know the older monks. Uh, what do you think of the other novices? You know what? Let's just see what he has to say. I'm interested in the other novices. Siskin. What can you tell me about Siskin? Oh, he's always got a smile on the new friend. But I reckon he don't belong in the monastery. He spends more time dreaming of the world outside than tending to his duties. I'm surprised he hasn't been thrown out already. If he was up to me, he'd be out on his ear right away. Oh, really? Okay. You don't think much of him. Sounds like you don't have much time for him. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. Believe me, Gregor. He's hiding something from us. In fact, now I come to think of it, I haven't seen him at morning prayers for a while. Praise be to our Lord. Well, we know that. Okay, what about Antonius? Do you know anything about Antonius? Only that he came to the monastery voluntarily, because he didn't want to work in his father's shop. Antonius is all right. You can rely on him. He won't betray your confidence. He's always happy to help, which is more than can be said for the other brothers. Okay. Lucas? I'm interested in Lucas. Nobody knows much about yeah, Lucas. Yeah, okay, this is common. He keeps himself to himself. Yeah, keep, yeah. If you ask me, he's got something to hide. I'd keep well clear of him if I was you. Do you have any grounds for suspecting him of something? Quite a lot. And also none at all. The circators who make the rounds despise him, and they never punish anyone without cause. That's weird. Um... Okay, I think this is good for now. All right. I think we're going to stop here. I don't want to waste any... like. Uh, any more uh, game time because I'd like to close out and it seems like I'm on the clock <laughs> I already got in trouble once with the circators I don't want to get in trouble again so I think as I say I think this is a good place to stop um, we've got a little bit of a feel for the monastery life there it does appear to be some wheeling and dealing that can be done on the inside um, and I guess really what I need to do is just go with the flow of the monastery's daily things and see what happens. Keep an eye out for some food that I might be able to, well, let's just say borrow. And uh, then I could trade with uh, Brother Solarius to get lockpicks. Once I get lockpicks, I could then uh, get access to pebbles. And then I've got uh, money, I've got food, I've got uh, potion, I got everything. But that's sort of where I'm going with that. But the problem is, of course, sneaking around this place i'm gonna to have to see what it's like sneaking around this place at night and i'd like to get some savior snaps to be able to do that so all right i think this is oh 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 i know what i could do if i sleep and save in my bed up in the, the upstairs that'll give me a save point 
And then I can use, I could just sleep for an hour and then wake up in the middle of the night. And then we could do some, maybe some skulking, but it'll be in a way that I could actually reload if I get caught and do something irreversibly damaging. So, all right, as I say, uh, this is a good place to stop. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, where we uh, plum, plum the deeper depths of monastery life. You all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.